All right, part two. If you already watched part one, you can skip to this timestamp and get right back to the shopping carts. I am going to redo the intro because keep in mind, some people are going to see this one first. If you watch this video before part one and you're wondering where the heck the rest of the signs are, they're in part one. So make sure you check that one out too. But if you've already seen the beginning of the first video, then skip to this timestamp here and you'll be ready to see the Libra card. Okay. I love you so much. Thank you. I love your face. Bye. Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here. And today I'm sharing a video I've been working on for quite a while. Now I filmed this footage before the site-wide sale was going on. There is a 30% off site-wide sale on ColourPop. So this is a great time for this video to come out because if you're looking for some suggestions, this could be a fun way to maybe mix up what you've had on your wish list. So there is a sale right now. If you go to the ColourPop site the day this video is posted, then the prices are going to be a little bit different. I suspect that a lot of things are going to sell out and go out of stock really quickly because of the sale. But just keep in mind, you can always come back to reference this video later. Or, you know, maybe you discover something here that you want to put on your wish list and then hopefully it'll come back in stock for you. Also, I want to point out that discount codes won't work during the sale because there's already a great discount on these products. However, if you want to help support your favorite creators, you can shop via our affiliate links, whether that's me or somebody else you want to support. I really appreciate it. I know that my peers, my fellow creators here really appreciate it. So just keep that in mind. If you are going to shop the sale, you can still help support either this channel or somebody else's page or channel if that's something that you're interested in doing. I also just want to make a little side note here because this is a zodiac sign shopping cart video. This is all just for fun. Some people do get a little, I don't know, like been out of shape about astrology and it's really, you know, not that deep. Nobody is going to make a law that you have to follow what your zodiac sign says. It's just for kicks, for enjoyment. We're out here just enjoying constellations and makeup. So if you think that's something that's going to bother you or make you want to make a mean comment towards somebody, then perhaps this isn't the video for you. Completely understand. We all have our own different vibes. We all have our own different journeys and beliefs. So, you know, I'm just saying it's just supposed to be for fun, even if it's not something that you're into or that you follow. It might just be a cool little exercise to see what makeup I recommend in your Zodiac shopping cart. Basically, just be nice to each other. Many of you may be happy to hear that I am not choosing products based solely on the colors associated with each sign. I know my earth sign friends in particular are going to be excited about this because I know y'all are sick of getting brown all the time. So I am taking the more traditional colors into consideration, but I'm really choosing things more based on those generic traits that are assigned to each zodiac sign. Hopefully that means you will get something a little bit unexpected or a little bit different in your sign's cart. And I also want to say, if you don't feel connected to the selection in your sign's shopping cart, you should try using your Venus sign to style yourself for makeup and clothing. I know this is a popular trend that's been going around. I've seen a couple TikToks about it, and I think that that's a really interesting take too. So if you want to go and find your birth chart and find your Venus sign, it could be that you're more connected to that sign's style. I am doing four items in each cart instead of budget this time. I usually do like a shopping cart under $50 or under $100, but this time I wanted to switch it up a little bit and give myself a little bit more leeway. So for each sign, I'm choosing one palette, one cheek product, one lip product, and then one wild card. So the price of each cart will vary, but the actual products in there are going to be pretty consistently similar in this way. And I really want to hear 
after you see your signs cart, what is it that you think should be added? Because I do try to make these cohesive, like the four products would make a whole look, but I would love to hear what's the fifth thing that you think would really make it perfect for you or maybe a favorite of yours that you think would vibe really well with your cart. I love to hear your thoughts on things too and you always have such interesting takes. So as you watch along, be thinking about what you would add to your science cart. Let's get into the Libra cart. Libras are sometimes called a little indifferent, a little indecisive. I think they can come off as kind of superficial in that way, but I think that really they're just doing their best to accommodate everyone and they do tend to be very friendly, very helpful, and very fair. They're all about everyone getting what they need. And I think that Libras tend to be really well liked for this reason. And they're often pretty creative in these solutions. So I think the perfect products for Libra are going to be really well balanced between being liked by everyone and also being able to do a lot of different types of looks. So I think we need a mega palette for Libra we need something that's going to do a lot of different types of looks, a lot of crowd pleasers, and a little bit of something for everyone. We need some neutrals. We need some colors. We need light, medium, and deep. We need a lot of different finishes. And I think the Get and Fresh palette is really perfect for my Libra vision. For Libra, I definitely think we need a highlighter. I do think that... A highlighter kind of goes with everything. You can wear it on its own. You can wear it paired with blush or bronzer or even use it on the eyes. You can use it on your shoulders. This is a crowd pleaser and I think that this little pinky color called Love Struck is going to go well with a lot of different types of looks. It's going to be that crowd pleaser type of shade. It's going to look good on a lot of people. So I think that Love Struck is perfect for the Libra cart. And much like the Leo cart, I think we need a well-loved, everybody likes this type of product. So I'm choosing the shade Trending in the Lux lipstick because, again, I think this is a crowd pleaser. I think it has a nice balance between not being too boring but not being so bold that it doesn't go with everything. And I wanted to switch it up a little bit here for Libra. I wanted to do a color sticks because again, I think this is the type of product that can do a lot without doing the most, if you know what I mean. It's not super dramatic, it's not super extra, but it's definitely something that can lend a lot to a look and it can also be used on its own. So I think it's perfect to round out and balance out our little Libra shopping cart here. Next up, we're going to do the Scorpio shopping cart. Now, the Scorpio sign is often said to be really possessive, really jealous, really secretive, and sometimes this is perceived as being really manipulative, but I think this intensity means that Scorpio is incredibly passionate. They're really devoted. They're really loyal. And so for the Scorpio cart, we definitely need to stick to those fan favorite products that have the loyal cult following. And we're also going to look for things that are really long wearing because of the determined nature of the Scorpio. And I also want to stick to some more moody type of shades and tones, but we're not going to go like full dark goth for Scorpio. We're going to switch it up. I think the Scorpio is a little bit more layered than that. So I want to show the moodiness, but in a different way. So I'm going to choose the Stone Cold Fox palette. I mean, look at the eye look here. This is such a Scorpio type of eye look, in my opinion. It's fierce. It's a little bit understated in a way but it still manages to have that fierceness to it and I think that that's the perfect Scorpio palette it can do it all it can be everything and you're gonna love it and you're gonna use it forever and ever and ever just like a Scorpio will 
be committed forever. Now, for the cheek product, I wanted to bring a little bit of that deep, moody type of color, but I wanted to do something a little bit more bold. And I think that this berry color sticks, it's so called is the shade. I think this is the perfect look. I can imagine this being worn really subtly dabbed on the lip or like a super bold over exaggerated blush with a little cat eye like cut crease type of understated yet still fierce eye. I think that's such a Scorpio look. I wanted to bring that same sort of bold color to the lip as well and I knew I wanted a matte X formula because this is a long wearing type of formula and I knew that was something that was important for the Scorpio products and I think this just pairs really really well with that berry blush that I chose. For the Scorpio wild card I went straight for a Super Shock Shadow. This is the OG, this is the fan favorite type of product. And we knew we wanted to go with fan favorites here, right? So I think this shade Ripple is perfect. It goes well with the lip and cheek colors, but it adds a pop of color. It gives us a little something more that I think Scorpio sometimes gets denied when it comes to like Zodiac makeup. This is my perfect Scorpio cart. You're going to get some fierce looks with a bunch of really reliable fan favorite products. Exactly what I was going for. Okay, I am speaking to you as a Sagittarius. So I'm going to try my best to be impartial here. The Sagittarius sign is often called irresponsible, restless, basically allergic to commitment. But the truth is... I know this for a fact, that Sagittarians are really just excited for life. They have a zest for life. They want to do everything. They want to have a lot of fun. They're usually really independent on the move. And, you know, we, we talk a lot. We're known for being loud, but at least we're being honest. And I think for the Sagittarius cart, we need some travel essentials, we need some day to night products. We need something that's going to transition from one venue, one event, one party to the next. And we're definitely going to stick with those warm tones. You know, it's a fire sign. Like I said, I'm not going exactly off of the traditional colors, but it's still playing a part. I think it's still relevant in the overall shopping cart experience. I'm going to do my best to take myself out of the equation and not just pick my favorites. So let's go and pick a mega palette. It's not my all-time favorite mega palette. I struggled with it, okay? I almost did it. I almost went for It's a Mood. But when it comes to the color selection, we need some really bright, fun, warm colors, things that you can do a lot with, colorful looks, neutral looks, office to party, and even just the name says it all. It's the Sagittarius vibe. It's all good. Don't worry. It's all good. We'll take a bold pink smoky eye and then we'll turn it into a little demure gold meet your parents at brunch type of look and we can do it all with the it's all good palette next up for cheeks like i said we need some travel essentials we need something that you can throw in your bag and you know just jump on a plane with so i am gonna go with a cheek palette for the sagittarius cart I chose the At First Crush palette just because I think that it mixes well shade-wise with the It's All Good palette. But, you know, of course, just go with whatever works best for your personal skin tone. I also like the name because I feel like Sagittarius probably has a lot of different crushes. They're probably bouncing from one favorite to another all the time. I mean, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I'm just saying. Let's move on to lips now. We definitely need a gloss, okay? Something that might have to be touched up a lot, but it's going to be shiny. It's going to be flirty. It's going to be friendly. There is no use in a long wear product for a Sagittarius because they're going to change their mind a hundred times. Sipping their drink, touching up their gloss, making friends in the bathroom. 
It's the Sagittarius way. You're just going to have to trust me on this one. I know from firsthand experience. Now for the wild card, we definitely need something purple, okay? I said I wasn't going to bring my favorites into it, but this isn't about me. Purple is the Sagittarius color, okay? And I think we need something that's a little bit extra. We need something that's a little bit overcomplicated. And I think that the Jelly Mud Shadow is perfect. I'm going to choose the shade Duckling. Really, any Jelly Mud Shadow would work paired with the It's All Good palette. But I think that this bright, shifty purple shade is just the perfect thing we need. Sometimes the Jelly Mud is a handful. Sometimes it's hard to know how to use it and you have to revive it. And I know we make things overcomplicated, but you know what? It's fun, it's beautiful, it looks exciting on the eye, and that's exactly what you need for a Sagittarius product. I think this cart is perfect for Sagittarius, and I am going to endorse it with my Sagittarius stamp for whatever that's worth. Now, let's go over to the Capricorns. Now, I think that the Capricorn, much like Taurus, gets a reputation for being like too disciplined, too too prudent and I think that gets confused as being boring but I don't think that's what it is at all. I think that they're very resourceful, they're very ambitious, they're very tenacious. You can count on a Capricorn. Just because a Capricorn has a plan doesn't mean that they're not spontaneous or that they're not fun. They just know where they're going and they're very determined to get where they want to go. And I think that's a good quality. So we need products that are going to be really cohesive together. We need products that are going to give us a well-planned, well-executed, fantastic look every day. These are products that you can count on. They're going to be your go-tos. And I really, really don't want to give my Capricorn friends just a gray, a brown, a neutral. But I also don't think it makes sense to do like a rainbow palette or neons. So I wanted to find something that really fit that reliable Capricorn type of plan, but still gave a little twist. And the truly iconic palette is that you don't need a lot of extra bells and whistles when you're a Capricorn. You can do a lot with these nine shades and it's going to be flattering. It's going to be a well-rounded look. It's going to be an everyday look. I almost grabbed one of those pressed powder blushes, but I really like the idea of a long time favorite type of blush. And that's why I went straight for prenup. I also think that a Capricorn would get a prenup. So the wordplay kind of works perfectly here too. Now I think Capricorn, much like Virgo, would go for some sets using lip sets to kind of switch up their look. And I think that the berry punch lip stain set here is perfect. It has a lot of range. It's going to look good on a lot of different people and it's really going to change up the look of these more staple type of eye and cheek colors just by switching up the lip and I think that's such a great resourceful Capricorn type of vibe. For my Capricorn wild card product, I'm choosing the No Filter Prime and Setting set. You get a sponge, a primer, and a setting spray, and these are the type of products that you use every day. You use them up. You can count on them no matter what type of look you're doing, no matter where you're going. You're going to be able to use these, and they are going to keep your face locked in and looking great. And you know what? Capricorn probably already has a backup of all their staples waiting for the second that they run out because they planned like that. Next up is Aquarius. And I think Aquarius is one of the most misunderstood signs, but I also think they kind of like like that about themselves. Now, it's true that the Aquarius is a little eccentric. Sometimes they seem kooky or detached. But the flip side of that is that they're super inventive. They're often a mix of being very intellectual and also very idealistic. 
So we need products that are multi-use, things that can be mixed and layered and something that can be always creating something new and unique and doing a lot of boundary pushing. So for my Aquarius palette, I knew I needed a mega palette. I knew I needed something with a lot of colors, a lot to offer, but a full bright rainbow doesn't quite feel right. And I considered doing Play It Jewel, but I landed on It's a Mood. I think this is the do-it-all mega palette that's going to still capture some of that flowy, hippie energy. I had sort of the same idea when choosing a highlighter. I do think that this cream highlighter and a little bit of an offbeat color is really perfect for the Aquarius cart. You could also wear this on your eyes, on your shoulders, or you know, you could put it on your lips if you're feeling really funky, you wanna do something a little bit out there like the Aquarius often does. Now, the Aquarius is going to be really artsy, somebody who's gonna mix their own lip color and they're gonna change it day to day. So I think we need a set. I really like the idea of a pencil set for the Aquarius because I do think of them as, you know, sketching and drawing and being artsy and creative. So I went with the lip pencil set for their lip product and I really wanted to do something off the wall but still very Aquarian. So I think that a bright blue mascara is really the perfect thing to finish up this Aquarius cart. Bright blue mascara definitely isn't the everyday, you know, go-to type of choice for everyone, but it's also not so wacky that it's unfathomable. We just needed a little attainable weirdness to finish up the Aquarius cart. Last sign, I cannot believe we made it. I have been doing voiceovers now for like three hours trying to finish these videos. The Pisces, my beloved Pisces, they are the softies of the Zodiac. They get called overly sensitive, naive, maybe even a little self-conscious. But I really think that their incredible sensitivity is what makes Pisces so easy to love. They're very compassionate. They're very perceptive. This softness of heart mixed with their intuitive nature really makes a dreamy combo. So I think our Pisces needs some soft, comfy products with a little bit of like a colorful flair. This In A Days palette is perfect. It has some dreamy, ethereal colors, but we definitely want a smaller palette. We don't want to overwhelm the Pisces with too many color options, but we still want to be able to do something sort of creative and fun. Now, moving on to the cheeks, I do think we need a little blush for our shy little Pisces to have a little bit of a flush. So I went for this super shock shadow in a sort of berry pink color. I think this one plays well with the palette that I chose. And then for my lip product, I know I want something super comfy, super understated. We don't want a bold lip. We don't want anything too matte. We really need to go with something very understated. So I think that this clear lip oil, the dewdrop shade, is perfectly Pisces. We need gentle, we need hydration, we need understated, and that's exactly why I think the wild card for our Pisces cart should be this pretty fresh tinted moisturizer. This is super comfy. It's very unobtrusive, just like our Pisces is. I'm just going to choose my shade to add to the cart because that seems the easiest for me. But you can see there's a pretty decent shade range here too. This is our Pisces cart. It's definitely soft and comfy, but still fun and creative. Perfectly Pisces. Whew, okay, that's it. I did it. I finished all 12 shopping carts. Thank you for your patience as I make this a two-parter type of project, but there was a lot of researching that went into choosing the products and writing my little sort of outline slash script for this project. 
Like I said, this is all just for fun. If you're not into astrology, that is totally fine too. You can just view this as a little quirky little fun shopping cart video. I really enjoyed this. I feel like I learned a lot researching for this video because I don't just inherently know a lot about astrology. I don't know a lot about the different signs. So this was really fun to research and look into. And I definitely had certain people in mind who I have in my personal life that I associate with certain signs. So that made it really fun to dive deeper into not just looking at the traditional colors for each sign, but really into the traits and sort of the backstory behind those. I do hope that you enjoyed this little two-part series as much as I enjoyed making it. I would love to do more videos like this. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you want to see more shopping cart videos? Do you want to see more makeup for different zodiac signs? Do you want to see a mix of both of those? Also, don't forget to let me know what you would add to your cart and why you think it fits with your sign and the things that I chose for your sign. I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts, all your favorites. What are you shopping from the sale? Leave it all down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love your face. I'll see you soon. Bye.